You probably know that with Control R, we can draw cuts on mesh, which is one way to subdivide it. Another way is with the use of the knife tool. You can find it on the left bar in edit mode. A shortcut to bring it is K or Shift K, but with the shortcut you won't get the top menu, so if you want to use it, make sure to select it. Using the knife is super easy. Select the mesh in edit mode, and with the knife tool, draw on the surface to identify the cut line, then hit enter or spacebar to confirm the cut. Also use the right mouse click or the escape key to quit at any point. If we looked at the mesh after we cut it, we can see that it only drew on the front faces from our point of view. To enable the back face cutting, you need to press the C key, like here if we add a knife cut, then press C. You will notice new dots on the cut line, which indicate some cuts are happening on the back faces. And if we confirm those cuts, then take another look, we can see that the back faces did get affected by the knife tool this time. Now this C key don't really shows from an ortho view of the mesh, so you need to look from a perspective view. The top menu have couple of options which you can explore. With the measuring panel, you can enable the distance, for example, to show the cut length. You can also use the only selected option to affect the highlighted faces alone without cutting through the rest. There's also knife projection button, and it goes like this. If we have a mesh and a shape like those two, we can select the mesh in edit mode, then hold shift and select the shape from the layer section. And in the mesh menu, there's a button called knife project. With it, you can cast the shape on the mesh as a cut from your point of view. If I use it from where I am standing, it won't affect the mesh. However, if I change my view a bit, it will cast this star shape on the cube surface this will be on the visible faces only, and can help you in your modelling if you have shapes like this one, or even curves. And that's it. Like the video if you're still here, and see you guys next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.